If John Morant has learned anything over the past several months, it might be that he needs to stay off social media because it seems like that's when so many of his problems come to the light. They can cover things up when he has altercations at a mall or when he has a fight with somebody at his house. But when he's brandishing his gun, when he's dangling his gun at a strip club on IG Live, that's pretty tough to cover up because the entire world sees it. And now we're sitting here, John Moran awaiting his second suspension for a second Instagram Live where he once again was brandishing his gun. But now he's taking his social media to say something else, which is really, really concerning for a lot of people. John Morant cryptic post amid gun video backlash by... And it seemed, if you just checked John Moran's Instagram story, like he was saying goodbye to members of his family. Now, since this has happened, he has deleted the post. The cops actually went to his house for a welfare check to make sure he was okay. But this is what people saw if you were on John Morant's, if you were following John Moran's Instagram. John Moran's Instagram story. Love ya, ma. Love ya, pops. You the greatest baby girl. Love ya, Bye. Uh, l l here it is. This is all of his stuff. Putting his mom, putting his dad, putting his, his daughter, and then bye. Now, what, what does this mean? Is John Moran actually feeling like this? Remember he told us he had a bunch of a bunch of mental issues, right? That that's why he decided to, you know, pull out his gun at three in the morning at the strip club while singing along to rap music. That's what he claimed. I don't know how many people buy that. I don't know exactly what John Moran's going through other than just trying to act hard. I don't know if this is a cry for attention, if he is actually feeling, you know, bad thoughts or whatever, but regardless, he did delete them. The cops have showed up to do welfare checks and he now claims he's taking a social media break. A spokesperson for the Shelby County office said cops went to the NBA star's home in Tennessee shortly after Morant shared the concerning messages on his Instagram page. He And they say he told them simply that he's taking a break from social media. So that's why he said bye. That doesn't really come off that way. I don't think really most people saw it that way at all. It seems like he's saying goodbye to his family members, but that's what he says. That's what he claims. In Moran's post, he shared pictures of him with his mom, dad, and daughter before writing the caption that said nothing more than bye. The posts were deleted a short time later. Now, he says that that's not what it was all about. Of course, if John Morant was actually feeling thoughts of self-harm or whatever, that's not a good thing. But the reality is, John Morant has pretty much destroyed his entire image and may have done serious damage to his career. Nobody knows the suspension that he's about to get from Adam Silver yet. I have no doubt that so many people, including John Moran, including the, the Grizzlies, including his PR team, they're going to try to claim mental health. They're going to try to make some excuses to why these things are happening. At the end of the day, John Morant is responsible for the things that John Morant continues to do. Uh, whether it's pointing a gun at members of the Pacers organization after a game, whether it's pulling a gun on another person that you beat the shit out of at your house. This is a, an issue for John Moran. It has been over the past year or so, and it looks like he's going to face a long suspension from that. Hopefully, there's nothing actually going on with John Moran's headspace like that. Hopefully, he was just saying, I'm taking a break from social media, but we will see. Certainly, a social media break for John Moran is probably the best thing he could possibly do because it certainly doesn't seem like he's smart enough or responsible enough to use it without getting himself in trouble. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.